This is part 47 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how a component can accept arbitrary attributes. This is continuation to our previous video, Attribute Splatting. At the moment, in this tail component, we have a property of type dictionary and this property is applied on this input element using attributes razor directive. So this allows us to apply as many number of arbitrary attributes as we want on this input element. At the moment within this jail component itself, notice in this dictionary we have already included some attributes with some default values. So in the jail component we have specified some default values for these attributes. Now from the parent component we can use this input attributes property and then override these default values for this set of attributes. So within the parent component notice we have already included tail component and we are using input attributes property so which is of type dictionary and then we are overriding the values for the set of attributes that we have already included in the child component. For example, in the child component, the placeholder default value is child component placeholder, whereas from the parent component, we are passing parent component placeholder. So these values here are going to override the values that we have already specified within the child component. Now what we can also do using this input attributes property from the parent component is in addition to overriding the default values for the set of attributes that we already have in the child component, we can also include any number of arbitrary attributes here. For example, let me include another attribute. So we included an additional attribute here, some attribute and the value for it is some value. So let's save our change and take a look at the browser. There we go. Notice on the input element, the arbitrary attribute that we have specified, that is some attribute along with its value is applied. Now what we cannot do is specify this attribute, some attribute in the HTML on this child component right here. Now let's try to do that and see what happens. First delete the attribute from the dictionary and then include it in the HTML here. We have an exception, child component does not have a property matching the name some attribute. This is because for us to be able to pass some value to this property, some attribute in the child component, we should have a corresponding property, just like how we have this value property. But we don't want to do that because from the parent component, we want to be able to pass arbitrary attributes to the child component. To fix this in the child component on the parameter attribute, set capture unmatched values to true. We have a different exception now. The property input attributes on child component cannot be set explicitly when also used to capture unmatched values. So basically this exception is complaining that if we have set this property capture unmatched values to true, we cannot set this input attributes property explicitly in the parent component. So first let's delete this. We already have this arbitrary attribute along with its value. Let's also include some of these attributes in the HTML here. Finally, we are not using this dictionary anymore. So to keep the code clean, let's delete it. There we go. All the attributes that we specified in the parent component in the HTML are applied as expected. Now, in the child component, we have specified some default values for these attributes. At the moment, we are doing this using this dictionary property. We can also do this in the HTML on the input element right here. Let's actually do that. First, delete the default values from the dictionary and specify them on the input element itself. To keep this example simple, I've included just one attribute, but you get the idea. You can include as many attributes as we want. So in the child component, I've specified the placeholder default value as default placeholder. And in the parent component, we are overriding the value. We are setting that same attribute to parent component placeholder. Let's save our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice the child component's default placeholder attribute value is used and this is not the behavior we want. 
in the child component we specified a default value for the placeholder attribute but then in the parent component we are overriding that to parent component placeholder so at runtime this value must be used but instead it is still using the child component placeholder attribute value this is because in the child component the placeholder attribute along with its default value is present on the right hand side of attributes razor directive now one important point to keep in mind is all these arbitrary attributes from the parent component that is max length placeholder required some attribute these are captured in the child component by this input attributes dictionary property these are then splatted onto the input element using attributes razor directive so all these attributes here that are specified on this input element are processed from right to left so first the placeholder attribute is applied on the input element and then within this input attributes we are getting again the placeholder attribute from the parent component but then this attribute will not be applied on the input element because we already have the placeholder attribute applied so if you don't want this behavior then place this placeholder attribute on the left hand side of this attributes razor directive there we go the placeholder attribute value coming from the parent component is applied if the parent component did not pass a value for the placeholder attribute then the default value in the child component will be used so the bottom line is include all your attributes along with their default values on the left hand side of attributes directive if you don't want a specific attribute value to be overridden by the parent component then include it on the right hand side that's it in this video thank you for listening